Coming up on Monique Rose. You would just think, how do you ever, how do you ever look at life again with that suit, that same stupid uh, optimism that you had prior to that moment? How? You have to be mentally challenged, which I'm pretty sure he is. So you're saying you bullied a mentally challenged man? I did. All right. Uh, you guys heard <laughs> it here first. Yeah, Blue Boy. At uh, let me let me mark what time it was here of the recording. Uh, at 30 minutes of the recording, Blue Boy admitted proudly to abusing <laughs> a mentally ill man uh, and pretending to be his girlfriend and masturbating, <laughs> letting him masturbate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm taking some liberties with the cut. <laughs> for woman month here but um you know we were talking about a woman guest we needed a woman guest on for today and you know wes and i are talking we're like you know such and such has a great personality this person's funny scott soft cat who do you think we should have on and you know what he said he said who cares about her personality just invite on whoever has the biggest tits <laughs> i see sloth cat said see. that i was like sloth cat that's that's not even true. Look, people, these no. women are not to be <laughs> leered at. Okay, these people have feelings. These women are not objects. Um, women are not objects for you to, to said, just for you to glean at. What I said is these women are brave, powerful, smart, and capable. Yes. I said they're capable of doing anything. And then I, well, then we invited on High Morn to come with us. You know, you'll notice that High Morn's not here because women are brave, smart, capable. But, but um, you know, Lady Brain, she forgot. And so, so, so we're actually opening up Woman Month with without a woman. And like Sloth Cat said earlier, he said a woman should be seen and not heard. So really, I do. This would be I, Sloth Cat's ideal Woman Month episode because there'll be no woman, right? I've Sloth just Cat. never heard that side of Sloth Cat before. I haven't either. Sloth Cat, did you have anything that you wanted to say for yourself before we go? Or I think y'all said enough. You know what I'm saying? Um... <laughs> I'm glad to be here, you know. Um, I, I want to thank God. I want to thank, you know. Yeah, are you retiring from the NBA? What are you doing? Now? I would give it up for the ladies. You know, give it up for the ladies. Um, you know, yeah. Moms are gold. Uh, dads are gold. And uh, all right, so we are gonna we are gonna um, in celebration of Woman Month. It's a uh, Victor call. Um, yeah. as, chosen, as chosen by Blue Boy. <laughs> 
you're watching Monique Rose on YouTube. TV, miss you. I want you to come back to me, baby. Oh, my God. Now, she's in a coma, correct? Yes. Okay. Well, part of, now, I don't know how many girlfriends you've had in comas, but Lawrence had several. He knows exactly what to do. <laughs> okay. Um, you, treat a, you treat a person in a coma like a, like a plant because it's been scientifically proven that like playing music for plants does encourage their growth and, and mm -hmm. so, so so you just you know you but you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna sing to your woman you're just gonna talk to her even though she can't talk back or you don't even know if she's if she can hear you and that's that's the thing so lauren's not willing to invest in his future financially but this man will plant love seeds all so long. so when she's in a coma and you say come back to me baby is will that work well, she okay, then come back if her love for you is strong enough? If it does, if it does, then what kind of story is that to tell your fucking grandkids? She was in a coma. I said, come back to me. And then she woke up. And the last thing she remembered were all the sweet nothings I was planning in her brain. And wow. now look at us. Right? I mean, that is that is a story that Lauren would love to tell. And yeah. that's really the only way. Like, the only way Lauren is going to get a woman is if he saves her in some sort of, something happens, like, you know what I mean? He saves some and woman. she's forever from... indebted to him. Yeah, she gets which attacked he... by like a bear. Yeah, which is like what he tried to do with the prostitute, but except for the prostitute preferred being homeless. Well, you're going to need a nice, if you're going to, and this is what I always say, if you're going to move a prostitute into your yard, you're going to need a nicer shipping container. <laughs> yeah, I've always well, said that. They, what they're what they they're going to have a the, the cheapest one and the most expensive one. What you do is you get the one above the cheapest one. And that's your, yeah. that's your prostitute habitat. Everyone knows that. Yeah, that's just uh, common knows. sense. Oh, let me see. You wanted me to sing the national anthem before. So I'll start. <laughs> oh, say no. can you see by the dawn's early light? Look, I do the dance the first time. It doesn't matter how many times they do this bit of someone singing over Lorne. It never gets unless it's someone. Trying to sing with Lauren to like sh show him up, you know, like um, when when Wine Lover would they would be like singing these duets together. That to me was not enjoyable. But anytime Lauren is trying to sing these romantic songs and someone starts singing over him, that shit never gets old. Anytime his singing is interrupted by something, that's the only time I can listen to him sing. Because he gets so fucking mad. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you there. In oh, great. Joke, I was unprepared. <laughs> I want I oh, yeah, fucking Victor singing some frick, frick up I'm going to fart. <laughs> I could dance and laugh just like you. Look. I can do this with my leg. Look. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, great. I'm gonna do it again. Oh man, don't. Nobody can. Look. Okay, look, Winnie. I'm gonna wake you up. Watch. Open your eyes. I'm gonna wake you up. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a final sea girl. I farted on your face just now. It was nice. Yes. And wake. Come on, wake up. Victor, Victor, don't fart in her face. <laughs> A sentence that has never needed to be said before. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Victor, Victor, don't fart in her face. And and that's the other the other good thing about this call is that you know Lauren wants to sing and get her out of her coma, but like not only is Victor playing music, singing in her face, farting in her face, <laughs> he's like he just gets that physical, that actual physical connection with her. So it, it's almost like you know in those in those fucking tropey ass. Um, show someone will get a love spell and it would be oh the first person that you see you're gonna fall in love with yeah. lauren would believe that the first person she sees when she opens her eyes that's the person she's indebted to yeah dude it's like when a it's like when a when a cat you know opens its eyes and it just or a, a duck i think you know how it opens its eyes for the first time and it kind of like 
Oh, it imprints on that person. It imprints on you and then follows you around forever. That's what Lauren thinks is going to happen to to his girlfriend. She's going to open her eyes, that see Victor that, there. That bitch got that duck love. That's what Lauren's going to yeah. do. Also, when did Victor fart in her face? It doesn't matter. He I might have fart- make that up because I don't think I heard him do that. Well, he did say, I farted in your face. Oh, <laughs> no, I couldn't even understand Victor. Yeah. Well, what situation would you be in to even be having this like <laughs> conversation over well, the phone? Like, your girlfriend's in a coma, and there's a man there farting in her face. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And then you're telling the, the the person blasting the music, the, the boombox in the in her hospital room while she's in the coma, that's farting in her face, and like moving her arms around and shit. <laughs> Lauren just has no idea what goes on in an actual hospital. Only, the only crazy a- part is, n- not even another pedo is in this situation. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> this is- <laughs> no, the, a lot of the situations Lauren is in are completely unique to Lauren, like they've never happened before. There is an if there is an empty filing cabinet and just Lauren's file with these fucking things in them. <laughs> no, no one's ever been on the phone talking. Like no one's ever had this exact conversation before. And he's just had so many of those. How many? I don't how many think people? anyone's ever called someone who's in a coma to talk to them. No, no, I'm. I'm. That happens. I'm sure that happens because it, it is a like it is a pretty normal thing for yes. people to go to someone's bedside and talk to people in a coma. No, is, that no. Yeah. I'm saying calling them on the phone to do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, just think. It's the, yeah, I'm sure there. Do that. Yeah. Right. I'm sure there. Uh, people call yeah. Slothcat, and he's basically right. like one step from a coma. You talk to him. That's yeah. true. I do talk to Slothcat, and he's basically a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> like a but like a fried vegetable <laughs> that you would get in a in the in the gas station when he's buying his two dollar honey buns, right? Yeah. Slothcat. The you know like the, the single yeah the the single packaged pickles in the cooler. <laughs> That's what Slothcat is. Oh, Who's I don't buying like those? Who's no, buying like, those things? Well, not Slothcat. He's a sh- he's a sugar man. <laughs> yeah, I don't like pickles. Those are disgusting. Yeah, he's this man's a sugar man. Who's ever uh, like? I'm in the mood for a gas station pickle. I don't. It, guys, uh, in the chat, if you're in the mood for a gas station pickle, hit your ones. Tell them sloth cat. If you eat gas station pickles, put a one in the chat. But also, you are gross. Yeah. So. <laughs> Fart on my favorite friend. Mm-hmm. You are too skinny. Let's go eat at a buffet. Look, I'm going to do this one. Oh, I can do it. Uh, I can't believe this kid don't know how to fucking act. Come on, Weenie. It's a party for you. <laughs> See? Watch the way I feel. Let me know. Yeah. I can't deny. What I'm telling you, baby girl, in my fantasy, it'll be you and me, and we will both make pee. I can feel your pee bag. Oh, it's warm. Your pee bag is warm. Because your catheter is warm, too. Look, I can see when the pee tube comes out. I can see your pee tube. Huh? Wow. Come on, Weenie, it's dance time. The nurse said I got to move your leg like this every day so you don't get a contractions. Let's go. <laughs> Tonight. Victor doesn't I'm... even sound like a real human being. Like, nobody <laughs> sounds like that. That's like a cartoon. <laughs> and, the, and the nurse was like, hey, you, this is, this is your job, okay? <laughs> Look at me. Hey, you, move her legs every day, okay? Okay? <laughs> So she doesn't get contractorations. Yeah, she you don't want to get her. All right, and I'll be, I'll, I'll be back in like a week, I guess. Just kind of do, just kind of <laughs> make this your own, make this your own place. Play music, invite <laughs> people in. It doesn't matter. For physical therapy, physical therapy with Winnie. This is fucking unbelievable. Dude, Victor, oh have a seat and relax, man. <laughs> All right. The uh, I'm tired. I'm tireder than you, and you're the one doing the physical therapy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to find another one. We got to do it for... 
12 more minutes. 12. Vámonos. Victor, where are her, where are her earbuds? Yeah. All right. Let's see. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Even Lauren's just like, what is happening right now? <laughs> this is what happens if all of your experiences are from TV and movies. Mm -hmm. You have an unrealistic idea of what things are. Yeah. And that's what, he probably thinks like a fast food job is fun. You yeah. know, like they make that shit look fun. All the shit he thinks these things are just fun. That's probably why he thinks his personality is fun. Yeah, he's like watched, once, right? He's like watched on, Scrubs before. Yeah, he thinks this is just what happens in hospitals. Just, just normal, just normal shit, dancing and singing. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Put your left leg up into the air now. Bend your knee now. Let's do the other leg. Put your leg up in the air. Bend the knee. I'm gonna take your toes. Let's do that. Make your toes move. Let's make our arms. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? My love. Come on, like a chicken. There you go. Now left arm exercises. Now right arm left exercises. Da, 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 da. Time to move your butt. Time to move your butt. Woo. <laughs> there you go. You got the, a little bit of redness in your face. Come on. Dun, 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 Where the fuck is the hospital staff? That's a good question. That, that is the first good question I've ever asked before. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that is a really good question. Because he's was, blasting that music in that hospital. So maybe, maybe they're in a, a secured area. Oh, maybe. yeah, maybe where all the other comatose patients are. Yeah, well, everyone's in a coma, so who's going to complain about your loud music? <laughs> yeah. You didn't even think about that. Um, yeah. Jesus Christ. Where's the fucking hospital staff? Here's that your arms. Oh! Do it! Yeah, we're going to... Who the fuck acts like that in the hospital? Physical therapy is fun. If you like this song... You don't know the words because there are no words. Oh, you like my song? You saw my words. Move your leg. All right. Leg exercise done. Okay. There's a clipboard and Victor <laughs> is checking off on the clipboard as he goes down. <laughs> and it's like it says, uh, you know, it, has, it probably has a song that you're supposed to play with each one, too. Yeah, so La Cucaracha. <laughs> Don't they play the chicken the chicken dance at one point? I can't remember. I think so. I know that one. They, they wouldn't play that at a lot of, like, Yiddish festivals. It'd be, you know what I mean? So I don't know if you know that one. It's more of a white people thing. In a circular motion, apply... Slight pressure to the inner knee while flexing the foot in a round circular motion. Okay. Got it. I got a deeper song for this one. I'm a physical therapist. There you go. This <laughs> fucking song. <laughs> it's time to tickle your little knee. Now let's tickle your tick toe toe toe. -to. I'm gonna put your butt. I'm gonna pick your butt. Cause it really smells like a big poop. Let's move your leg. Let's move your thigh. Let's move your foot. Up, down, left, right. Let's move your neck. Let's move your foot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Who is this character based on? Joy. Move your arm up and down. I mean, honestly, it sounds like T-Cap Gaming. But, <laughs> it but maybe T-Cap Gaming is based off Victor. <laughs> now get your leg and open tightly. I'll grab your butt and turn it around. All right, that's how they taught me to do it. Man, this is stupid. I can't like to dance for two people at once, man. 
a lot of work. All right. Oh, fuck. Um, lateral shoulder movement and blood flow. All right. Now I got to do this one. This is the one that I don't think you liked it yesterday because when I did it, you made it a part. You're just going to do it, okay? Here you go. <laughs> All right. New edition. <laughs> These songs are great. Move your shoulder up it. and down. Move your shoulder up and down. Hey, Winnie, what's the answer? Huh? I don't know. I'm shrugging. And oh, Lauren's been sitting there listening. I don't know. Angry. Angry the whole time. Don't know, say. All right. He's too scared to hang up because he knows if he does, there's no way they're gonna know to call him back. Well, if he if he hangs up, dude, this could turn into a very sensual physical therapy session. Right. He might start having sex with her while she's in a coma. Now it's time for me to take your pants off and play with your pussy. <laughs> and he'd be like, Well, okay, all right. Then it like some I don't know what song would come on, uh Sloth Cat. It's the sensual portion. Um Usher. Um you don't have to call. No, let it let it burn. No, I like let you don't burn. have to call. It's more not to call back. Oh yeah, 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 great, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Arms tight. All right, now it's time to do the finger one. Uh oh. Once again, when I'm on the phone winning, I don't want him. I can hear Victor all the time. He's supposed to be doing physical therapy. Oh, look, right we're now. almost done. We only got seven. Yeah, but why can't he do it quietly? And why would he? He's literally narrating to us. Was. <laughs> I know no. the TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, well, it's a radio show because you can only describe it. So you have to be like, now I'm now I'm touching my bed, you know. Like, <laughs> so it's like that. Seven more minutes. Oh, I gotta do this one. Are you ready? All right. Fuck, man. I don't like this one. I gotta touch your fucking weird hook hand. <laughs> Check this out, baby. Come on, let's do this one. Mellow That's money. right, you didn't go a la casa de tu tío. Come on. Hey, you were at a party. Higher in the sky, yo borrachada there, Bacardi. Get your hand and open it. Que tu no sea cantinero. He told me you were drinking and wasting my dinero. All right, put your finger here. All right. Now I gotta post my fingers between your guys need to ask you a serious question. I have a, a five minute Brorin um video yes. that where he plays he plays every role. Every yes, role. Please. <laughs> and when I first I just when I first found this scene, I actually bought it on Amazon because it was for sale. <laughs> and I didn't realize it was <laughs> Wait, what? What? Yeah, it was four dollars. It was four dollars to buy the scene on Amazon. I didn't realize it was on YouTube. And when I found it on YouTube, it had 5,000 views and 900 thumbs. Down. <laughs> 900 down, down votes on this, on this video. Uh, I'm it's surprised really he got 5,000 views. Well, I, I, yeah, I don't. Some, sometimes he'll put up a video and for whatever reason, you know, YouTube will just push it and it'll get a bunch of views and a bunch of confused people. Like, what is this? And he'll just re reply, LOL, or uh, yeah. Um, so we're gonna after this, we're gonna watch that one before we move on to the to the other content. But I just wanted to put that out there. I do have okay. someone coming in. Sweet. Your fingers here. Hold on. Por favor. Tell me la verdad because I really need to know ye necesito entender if you're gonna be a player or be Lorne's mujer. <laughs> I made you a lyric. A straight Mentirosa, today you'll tell me something y mañana otra cosa. Get your finger bendy, Winnie. Do -do 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 -do. Come on, Winnie, get your finger like that. There you go. They, we got to stretch, 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 stretch your wrist. Stretch your wrist and now move your fingers. I'm gonna move on down to your toes. There we go. He didn't even hear her break character right there. It doesn't matter. And let's move the foot up and down. Then at the time, hey, yo te creía porque no sabía what is going that you head were head a real ambilla. Come on, let's do this. That's what I, I... Is he so quiet because he's wanting to take in everything so that he can make sure nothing 
is going on or is he just sitting there like a fucking teapot building with anger until I think he's just building the steam is like shooting out of his ears right now and it's just weird to think it's like yeah he's just sitting there just taking all this in not thinking like man this is my life like this is what I'm (laughs) you know like who the fuck believes this yeah. It's just crazy uh, I mean, to me. Th- there are those times where you where you need to sit back and take an inventory of, of your life and like, is this where you want to be? Is this where you expect it to be? Whether it's something you're going to change or not, like you do. You have those moments where you have to, and I don't think Lauren ever has those moments. Or if, or if he does, it's, things aren't where they are now, but I'm like one, you know, business or yeah. one great idea, one fucking hit song for Trisha Yearwood or Travis trip yeah that's a guy um and 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 then you know i'll be on fucking easy street with my lakefront property it, he just doesn't look at life realistically that's it's kind of nice but i don't understand how could you go through the the that fucking dude to catch a predator even if he never got arrested if he walked out of that house and drove home and that was the end of it that would be the end of 99.9 percent of people that'd be the end of your life as you knew it yeah. You would never look at you would never look at life as optimistically, especially no. and, not, and not okay. Maybe even if if to catch a predator came and went, and it was like a one time thing, and no one really gave a shit about it. Yeah, you could move on somewhere else. But like that show, people are still watching it now. Yeah, and not just us, but like you know, people are people who don't give a shit about Lorne still watch. Like people are still discovering it. You right, like, like twenty five years from now, that video is still going to be on the internet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so like, like it, Lorne is going to be forever on the internet for committing the worst crime imaginable. <laughs> as long as there's an internet, Lorne yeah. is an internet predator. Yeah. As long as the internet exists. And so you would just think how do you ever how do you ever look at life again with that su- that same stupid uh optimism that you had prior to that moment? How? You have to be mentally challenged, which I'm pretty sure he is. So you're saying you bullied a mentally challenged man? I did. All right, uh, you guys heard <laughs> it here. First. Yeah, Blue Boy. At uh, let me let me mark what time it was here of the recording. Uh, at thirty minutes of the recording, Blue Boy admitted proudly to abusing <laughs> a mentally ill man uh, and pretending to be his girlfriend and masturbating, him, <laughs> letting him masturbate. Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm taking some liberties with the cup. <laughs> see, Blue Boy believes in ultimate equality. You know. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. We're all yeah. It's all fair game. It's all fair game. Okay. Unlike sloth guy who thinks women are beneath him. <laughs> Let's see. I think I put us all equal levels. I thought I was allowed to think that way. Once you get to like four K or something like that, you're supposed to get like breeds and things of that nature. You got yeah. You got to have you got a? Did you get an email yet? You, you'll get I haven't get the. Yeah, when you get the email, there's yet. a. There's a thing. It'll say sign here. Then you're good. So okay. This one here, Lauren Armstrong has a little pito. Move your toes so you can fuck his mito. Ocho pepetera. That's a straight skeezer. Si quiere un pedacito, go her way cause she's a farter. But I'll tell ya straight up. Porque Lorde me lide cuenta. That old main streeter quip with power. La venta. Come on, cuerpo, let's move. Hey, yo, she don't care, man. She's gonna move her finger. Yeah, you're hot to try and how to get what I got. Pero ya que te conozco con la casa y que es na. Cause you're just a mentirosa con tu lengua venenosa. Today you tell me something y mañana otra cosa. All right, we're done. <laughs> oh, man, your legs is are tight today. Uh-oh. All right, I got to go turn back the resistance bands to the guy. I oh, love nice. you when you see you nice. in a minute. Mm, oh, mom, mom. Fi- finally some alone time. <laughs> finally. Yep. And I wonder what he's going to do with it. Is he going <laughs> to talk to her like normal or is he going to fucking complain to a woman who can't respond? Mom, mom, mom. Come on. Jesus, baby. 
Once again, I'm hearing Victor all the freaking time. I'd like to know where your earbuds are at. It should be in your ear on your sister. She probably didn't put them in your ears. She literally can't respond to you, bud. But she can still know when she wakes up that he was complaining a lot and bitching about <laughs> her sister. She wants control of everything. Everything. Irritating the living fuck out of me. <clears throat> I love you, baby. You gotta wake up. Does that work? That's I don't work. like dealing with your sister. Wake up, fuck what to do with your sister. I need you. <laughs> Selfish douche. Yeah. Maybe you gotta what? Call me on, baby. Like he thinks this is really helping. You making noise for me, baby? What did he say? I don't Tell know. Me Mom, baby. Want a biscuit? Will you hear me, honey? You don't know that. But have you noticed this is just this is just biscuit talk, but but Yeah, you know, with a person. Come on, baby. Wanna wake up, beautiful baby. Wake up, baby. baby. Tell me you love me. Tell me you love me, baby. Up, baby. <laughs> if she's in a coma and she can hear this, I would be I would want to die. Oh I yeah. I've, have, you ever, have you ever had sleep paralysis? I never have, not once. Can you believe it? All right. So, well, no. I, so I've had sleep paralysis. I have a lucid dreamer. So, like, sleep paralysis is really common. Uh, and it's the scary. Like, if you don't know what it is, it's the scariest fucking thing in the world because you can hear everything around you. And and people talk about like waking up in surgery after with the uh, when the shit wears off and they can hear everything, they can hear and feel the things going on, but they can't let anyone know. And that, that's what I would feel like being in a coma would be like and hearing Lauren just doing this all, all day long. That, that would, would be feel the worst. like hell. That would be hell. You couldn't tell the person to stop. Yeah. You can't turn your ears off. That would be that would be that, torture. That's true. I think that would be hell for me. Baby. You gotta wake it's up. Just Lauren baby. biscuit talking me for eternity while I can't respond. <laughs> and it never stops. <laughs> no, every time you think it's gonna stop, it just comes right on back, baby. Yeah. You gotta wake up, baby. Make a noise for me, baby. Make a noise for me. For like it's gotta be Yeah, for he me. thinks he's so like magical. Well, he's... like you know, it's gotta be for Lauren no matter what. Yeah. Like this is not how it, this is gonna work, Lauren. You're not gonna just tell her to make a noise and she's gonna do it. You just don't believe in love. That's true. I'm cynical. What was that? Was that sloth cat or was that the? Oh, I think that was sloth cat using a. Maybe it cut all an air. Moving some stuff around. Oh, uh, okay. Again. <laughs> hey, I forgot to put your earbuds. Oh, 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 here, oh. here he comes. God yeah, damn it! All right. Now you can hear the phone, whoever is on. Hi, whoever is on. <laughs> oh, hey, whoever is on, listen to me sing to Winnie. Are you oh, ready? Oh, no. <laughs> Victor, can you hear me? Caroline! Was that Winnie? Come on, done to me. That sounded like Winnie. I don't know. Yeah, if you... <laughs> I, I, that's, you can even hear, you even hear Ember start to laugh. I think. I think she realized that she fucked up for a second. <laughs> the Lord does, the Lord does <laughs> it's like when he just woke up and yelled, Caroline, and then fell back asleep. Which, which is funnier. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> Whoa, she spoke for me. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> fucking Christ. Now <laughs> deep, deep, even though... I'm going to have to ask Debbie if she, if she told you to act like an idiot. The time it took to look inside and realize the real guys. Come on, let's do it. Dance. I know you like to think that your shit don't stink. But lean a little bit closer. See that roses really smell like poo poo. Oh, oh. Huh? Roses really smell like poo poo. All right, 
I remember that song is about a caca's Winnie, so I came to sing it to you. Now here's the um earbudding oh in your ear. Alright. Alright, bitch. I'm gonna be right back. Alright, bitch, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> Alright, wait a minute. Alright, cool. Yep. Hey! Hey, Marcos! I did the exercises with Winnie now. Is that it? <laughs> Oh, sorry. I did the exercises. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> yes. er, when it's six o'clock, that's in six hours. Six horas in español. Oh, I know. You know, so, you... the way that Lauren is disgusted by Victor's behavior in the hospital, but whenever. Who's in the. Is it still Winnie when he's talking to Matilda on the phone? He's just like cursing at her and shit. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, don't be cursing me. Well, you know what, Matilda? Too fucking bad. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> Look, this, this is, I'm Lorne, bitch. This is how I come. Okay. There are, this <laughs> one size fits all. You don't like it? Get off the fucking bus. And uh, he talked to these people, and they are the ones taking care of his girlfriend. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, you know, but they're, because they're servants to whoever, then they are beneath him. Just the way his confusion on the TSA call, because I really do believe. That Lauren confused TSA with the old airline TWA. So when they're telling him that TSA is talking, he believes that airline agents, like just, you know, people behind the desk are trying to stop them. And so he's telling them to run and shit because he just hasn't flown in so long. He doesn't well, yeah, it, it, he it. definitely hasn't been on a plane since, you know, if he has been on a plane at all, it was pre 9 11. Yeah. That's, yeah. So, so Which is like, he was like confused, like, why you got to take your shoes off? Yeah, so and there was an airline TWA. So I and I think he just confused the two. So he's like, "Run, you know, just fucking run." Oh, it just it, and this is the man in the Lorn at that time was man in the chair. Mm -hmm. So imagine you are a superhero or you are some sort of crime fighter, and your man in the chair doesn't have access to the internet and mm -hmm. hasn't gone anywhere since nineteen eighty nine. You know Spanish, huh? All right. Well, I gotta go take a shit, man. I'll see you later. Oh, um, man. don't take the earbuds out of her ears, cause like her boyfriend's talking to her or some shit. All right. I not go back Oh, so long. Just random people in the room with her. All right, baby. I think he's gone. Maybe you can hear me now. I think we're alone now. I love you, baby. Like, that's what he wants to hear. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. You should have the fucked up. I saw this man taking a shit behind the trash can. He was gross. All right, I just wanted to tell you that. I'll see you later. Now, that's the kind of thing Winnie would want to hear. Like, real life Winnie would want to hear about the guy taking his shit behind the trash can, not Lawrence, I love you, babies. And he just wants to do that for hours to sit there on the phone and say, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. God, wake up, baby. God, I wish oh, you were awake. Damn. I wonder how many times that's going to happen. <laughs> probably not. That's probably the last of it. I wonder, I wonder how much Debbie paid him to fucking do that shit. What a weird thought. That someone would pay him to act that way to piss Lauren off. That is so Maybe weird. Yeah, it's a refresh. Debbie has the resources and she has the motive. Whenever a crime happens, Blue Boy, you follow the money. <laughs> and right now, this is a love crime. It's a hate crime because Lauren hates it. So that's but two like, crimes. That's Lauren's thought. Instead of being like, Victor's just a weird dude. It's Debbie paid him to de act like that to piss Lauren off. Yeah, because well, Lauren because is the, the main character. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also, Lauren has been causing problems. Because remember, in, in universe, Lauren believed Debbie is greedy and wants Winnie in the hospital to take her money. So she's going to try and separate Lorne from Winnie because Lorne is opening Winnie's eyes up to the fact that Debbie is going to take advantage of her financially. Why is she in a coma? Why wouldn't she be in a coma? She's a girlfriend. They all get in comas at once. But, Have but you ever been in a relationship? She, but why is she specifically in this coma? What happened to her? I don't know. I really don't know. It's never been there, said, I don't think. Uh, there have been so many comas in the in the catfish verse. Yeah, I don't it's even hard know. to keep up. Everyone has been hospitalized at some point for like long periods of time. Phrase things to Debbie. Make her understand. It's 
you know, shake her by the shoulders. That's what Sloth Cat said. I love you, baby. <laughs> I love you, baby. Can you make a noise for me, honey? Baby, make a noise for me, baby. Wake I up would for put, me. I would put him on mute, and baby. I would just go do something for like four hours. When you were, do you mean if you in this situation or yeah? If you were I was, really if I, I wish Casey had been in a coma because I would have done that. I would have put him on mute <laughs> and like went to work, like and came back for a whole day. <laughs> do you think he would still be there? Probably. Yeah. yeah oh, he'll, and, he'll still be there. And the only reason he wouldn't be is if, uh, is if the connection had died. Yeah, or mom called. But, and you'd have to listen. You'd listen. You'd have to listen to eight hours to see if there was any gold in there yeah, throughout that whole thing. But I mean, I bet there would be. There'd have to be. Yeah. There'd have to be at least something. Yeah. It's like a secret sure. video, <laughs> right? Like you, you watched the twenty minutes for the three minutes of gold. We're like, I don't know. Her and her dead-eyed mom. Are twerking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he... I don't want to deal with your sister. Good reason to wake up. There's a good reason as any. You miss my right. baby. Come on, baby. Wake up, honey. I don't think she were going to wake up. No, I don't think that's what <laughs> I did my best, <laughs> but I guess my best wasn't good enough. Oh, Why would that be his oh, first no, no. go-to? Well, yeah, that song of all songs. Well, I mean, it was featured in the movie The Last American Virgin, so it's very fitting for Lorne. <laughs> very fitting. <sighs> And just for for this to come out, like with with, with everything going on, and then he just starts singing. That's amazing. Right. That's amazing. As you hear the dog's toenails just clicking against the, the hardwood floor or the plywood that, floor. That was the beat to the song, and he was like, <laughs> "Oh, you know, like when someone starts being out, we will rock you," and then you just start singing it. Oh yeah. Um, it's same same shit. So he's gonna he's gonna start belting this song out to us. It's an emotional song. It's gonna this will wake her up. If this doesn't wake her up, then you go to for some David Bowie. Right, Slothcat? Exactly. What's your favorite Bowie oh. song? Awesome. Uh, my favorite Bowie song? Um, mm -hmm. I don't know any. I like that one by Tom Petty. Okay. <laughs> Should probably play some, you know, some Steely Dan. Some Steely Dan? What's, what Steely Dan song you going with? Um, Peg. All right. <laughs> We're back to being strangers Wondering if we ought to stay Head on out the door Come save us, Victor Just once Can we figure out what we keep doing wrong why the good times never last for long? What are we doing wrong? We just want, can we find a way to finally make it right? To make the magic last for more than just one night. I know we could break through it. Oh. <laughs> we could just get to it just once. Phew. Uh, Holy fucking Christ. <laughs> Director, how much she fucking paying you to make all of them god? Do you think he thought that was Winnie at first? Yeah, probably. Like it where he stopped. He's like, holy shit, it's working. Just keep just keep going, Lord. You're almost <laughs> there. And then he realizes it's Victor. <laughs> Damn noises while I'm on the phone with her. What does she not understand about I want to spend time with Winnie? Good question. 
Hello? Victor? Do I have to rephrase the whole thing all over to her again? Ooh, he's not Fucking Christ. All right, start singing again now. From the top. <clears throat> hey, baby, you think I have to tell your sister? She needs to fucking keep Victor away while I'm on the phone with you because he can't quiet the fuck down. Yeah. I know, I'm right. Come here. Oh, this part. This part. Oh, man. What's up? Your mom so thought her waist size is the equator. <laughs> Jesus Christ, baby, I'm telling you. <laughs> Goddamn party going on in there. Have you ever met a girl that you tried to date? But a year to make love, she wanted you to wait. Let me tell you a story in my situation. I was talking to this girl on the U.S. nation. The way that I met her was on tour on a concert. She had long hair and a short mini skirt. I just got on stage dripping pouring wood sweat. I was walking through the crowd. And guess who I met? This is, this is fucking ridiculous, baby. I'm gonna tell you, especially this motherfucking shit ever happens again. She's gonna know I'm pissed off. What does that mean? If this ever happens again, you're gonna know I'm pissed off. It's not even a threat. You're you're just saying if this happens again, I'm gonna bitch even more. So you know, what does that mean? So, so you better wake up out of this coma and tell your sister oh. to stop it. So right now, the coma is making it harder on Lorne. Mm-hmm. She needs to wake up and stop being selfish. Okay. Slothcat, once again, you've nailed women. You've nailed woman for woman, Mark. Hey, man, that's women for you. <laughs> Always ending up in comas and stuff. Inconvenience. <laughs> Maybe she'll understand if she's like that some fucking community service. Winnie, where, Winnie, you like this song? Winnie. You, you got what I need. But you say Lauren's just your friend, and you say he ain't your husband. Oh, Winnie, you, you got what I need. Cause you're dead, you're my best friend. Wake up or I'll smack your ear and oh, Winnie, you got what I need. But you say you're my best friend. I'll make a fart come out of my rear end. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't a real one, Winnie. He's just a yoke. Just a yoke. Why is he? Oh, man. My speaker battery is running low, Winnie. Oh. I got to go on a charger or something so you can hear your music. I'll be back in like an hour, okay? Oh, now you right, got to fucking go this. anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. Yeah. It's fucking gross. Finally, an hour. An hour alone. I don't know how much she paid him to be so fucking annoying. It's pathetic. Baby, is that desperate moron gone yet? No, he's still on the phone. You're the desperate moron. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, baby. I'll be right back. Mom's calling me. Yeah, okay. This is when Winnie should have woke up. <laughs> and then went back into a coma and still was like, oh, mom. Mom. <laughs> She was awake and asking for you. <laughs> you were not there.
Do you think Lauren's over there, like, trying to rush off the phone and telling his mom that his girlfriend's in a coma? Yeah, he has to, yeah, probably. And he has to go text Debbie, too. Fucking, how much are you paying this fucking asshole? <laughs> Oh, that's cool. You guys can do your rap battle in here. The <laughs> rap battle! The rap battle! The rap battle! Alright. Oh, Are you ready? Yeah. Alright. Alright, cool. That's cool, man. No need for introduction. I'm going to get it to our well, main man. The that chick- music that just played, I can't hear that without thinking of fucking Greg Turkington and uh, the Oscar special. And if you know it, you fucking know it. Himself. No need for introduction. Come on. This is yeah, this is definitely in the hospital room. <laughs> <laughs> <This song. laughs> it's happening in the in hospital. A hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lauren. Come on, Lauren. Come on, Lauren. Come on, Lauren. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I go first. Alright, you go first. I don't know. I want to call super high. He goes first. Check me out. Check. Alright, put it in there. What's up with my ex girl? Here's a number. Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh, man, he got you! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Loaded. <laughs> Alright. Your turn, Dr. Lee. The doctor's doing it. No, you gotta rap. Professor Anthony Badger and Al in his seminal thesis of 1997. Alright. made it clear. So, uh, Please wave your hand in the air if you do care about women's rights. <laughs> I do. That was not a good rap, though, huh? We <laughs> yeah, that's not fucking believable. So please respond respectfully. <laughs> hey, Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee. Now you got to let Roscoe. All right. All right, Winnie. It's Roscoe's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dr. Lee. How many people? How many people are in this hospital? This tiny <laughs> hospital room, there's like 40 guys in there. There's like there's sounds that would be impossible to make. <laughs> Don't let them hit you like that. I'll go back. To uh, this is fucking unbelievable. Yeah. What is this kid not understand about? I don't want to hear his fucking voice. Damn! He told you, Dr. Lee. What the fuck? Your, your turn. <laughs> Why won't you just hang up? She got, a, she got a fucking Victor there to fucking stress your ass out all the time? She won't love me between you and her. Your sister's a selfish bitch. I would wait outside. Piece of shit. All she cares about is herself. Dr. Lee, you it's you're, it's a rap bottle. You gotta say something to make him feel like you molded him. Like like you gotta talk shit to him, alright? Try it right now. You guys be quiet in the back. Be quiet in the back. <laughs> and I would listen to a podcast with noise canceling headphones. What a goddamn fucking loser. Of her moaning down. Well, baby, I wanna spend time with you. But I can't do that with a, a fucking idiot there all the time. Tom running his goddamn fucking flapper. Running his just flapper. And fucking running his flapper all the time. Who the fuck calls it a flapper? Well, he's running his flapper and he's all these black people in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's clearly a gaggle. That's what it's a group yeah. of a group of black people is known as a gaggle. A gaggle of black people in the in the hospital room doing a rap battle. Uh, and I know from experience that'll get you kicked out of almost any hospital. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, almost, almost any <laughs> hospital outside of Chicago. Ignorant, fucking annoying. Yes. A larger <laughs> Baltimore, you'll get kicked out if you don't have a rap battle. Right. Movie. They know that's some sucker ass bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that was good, man. Wait till I have some words with your sister. Yeah, just wait. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. 
You can do the rest of the rap battle in the cafeteria now. I'm going to tell you just how fucking selfish and ignorant she is. Right. They're all just going down the hall cheering <laughs> Hootie and Halloween to the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> All she cares about is herself. Right? Just imagine going to the, the hospital cafeteria and there is a like a bunch of the tables are pushed to the side. There's a group of people standing in a circle rat battling. They're just rat battling. That'd That's be awesome. Doc, and Dr. Lee versus some other guy. Don't so give a fuck about you when it's fucking battle, doing all this shit to try to stress you out yeah. so you'll fucking die on us. Anyway, yeah, um, Lauren. that was the president. Yeah, anyway. Deadbeat. Anyway, Victor, stop fucking talking all the time. Like, I'm on the phone with her. So I want to spend time with her. To come in here and do a Get rap your fucking battle. ass all out of there. Don't Check fucking spend 24 hours a day in there. Like, who's the um, one you stressing like her out right now? It's, it's, I know. It's like um, what he says with Sadie. When he talks about Sadie being skittish. Yeah. And, and Lockhart's like, Really? Why? And he's like, oh, I don't, the people who had her must have really fucked her up before. And she goes, well, <laughs> you don't think it's from you getting drunk and screaming and yelling? Oh, yeah. That might have something to do with it. Maybe. But, you know, right now, um, Victor's in a great mood, per, per, you know, doing lots of fun things, but Lauren wants to be in her ear so he can scream and yell at her. Right. I don't, I, I, I would think that maybe you shouldn't be screaming in the eardrums of a person in a coma. Maybe they would recommend maybe, not. Maybe that. not. I would say this, you shouldn't do it. You maybe. probably shouldn't. Yeah. Only if it's woman's month. Well, if it's woman month, it's fine because you're teaching her lessons. Yeah. Lessons, you, gotta lessons. Lessons. you gotta. You should be learn. Learning should be a lifetime thing. Don't let a coma stop you from learning <laughs> how to be a better woman. And that's a message from Slothcat, who that's, said you all have something yeah. to learn. Right, Slothcat. That's a message from Slothcat. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> That's me smiling, and you know, the thing happens. The thing, you know. the, thing on your, on your <laughs> the thing with my one tooth happens. Ding. Oh, um, she's. I don't know why, but she said later she's gonna pay for a, a mariachi band to come and play music. I don't know. Why. Oh shit, a mariachi but, band. Um, <laughs> uh, she also paid you to spy on everybody. Go ahead and um, I'm yeah. just gonna stay here for a little bit because that rap battle made me thirsty. Yeah, I, oh. that. Right. Here. I love how he goes oh, oh. after everything he says. I wonder who won the rap battle. Not many people at a homeless can fucking pour the, the Hilton every night. So, gee, I wonder how you got there. What? Oh, he's like, well, you went from homeless to now all of a sudden you have money for shit. Debbie, that he's putting two and two together. Victor was oh. homeless. Okay. Now all of a sudden, Victor has money, and Victor is hanging around a lot in the hospital, annoying Lorne. Two and two, Victor moved from the <laughs> slums to the penthouse by getting a job full-time paid by Debbie to annoy Lorne, to break Lorne and Winnie up so that Debbie can take Winnie's money. So, yes, Debbie is spending It's all some making now, sense now. It's a, it's a small investment in what she's going to get when she takes all of Winnie's money. Mm -hmm. Now so, I get it. Yeah. Lauren's not dumb. He's far from stupid. He's far from stupid. He's really far from it. <laughs> so far. <laughs> It'll make your head spin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ralph, Jesus Christ, you? baby. Your sister don't give a fuck about you. You should fucking pay and Victor to be there all the time to stretch your ass out. Yeah, that's what you should tell a person in a coma. That no Can't spend any time with me because fucking Victor's there running his fucking mouth. All about Lauren. You can't shut the fuck up. If I were you, I would stay in this coma because don't no one care about you other than me. That's all I'm gonna <laughs> say. That's all I'm gonna tell you. If I were you, I would stay dead. Stay dead. There's about thirty seconds of silence from them. That won't last long. Yeah. Well, then why are you wasting it? So you have to your sister make sure you. Your phone is programmed to call me at a time when Victor's not there. Yeah. Programmed to call me automatically. When Victor's not what, there. The phone, is, that the phone is supposed to know that Victor's not there. Well, Victor should have a schedule. Because he is on the payroll now. Uh, so the, and the phone. So is that what happens? And the phone would be scheduled supposedly to automatically call Lauren. There's no one on the other end. And then he just starts talking. I guess so. That's, yeah, he said we'll have, to program it. 
So the, his phone would just ring, and he would answer, and there would be no one there, and then he the would just talk. The stuff this man they thinks were, phones are capable of. Well, he hasn't seen he hasn't seen like the new technology because legally he can't. So you can tell him there's an app for basically anything. He believed that there were voice changers that can make a man sound like a woman b- before the shit even existed. That's true. He, he was when, talking when about NSA technology, <laughs> like and and you know before before you even before you even had one, this man was already talking about it. So he spoke these things into existence. <laughs> That's great. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, yell at Winnie about it. Well, he's in the situation because of his love for her, so she's indirectly responsible. Wake up, you bitch. And now that he has her by himself, he's not saying anything. He's got nothing to say. After the love, it's gone. That's what he should be singing. It's awful quiet there now, (laughs) but... Now, now he's, he's just waiting for it. <laughs> now, now he's complaining about how quiet it is <laughs> because he knows it's not going to last. You ain't got empty. He's there. He's waiting. Otherwise, I'd be up to hear something in the fucking background. He's like a Freddy Krueger just waiting, waiting for you. <laughs> He has nothing to say. I can't believe he's not talking. Nothing. You ready for me? Hello? <laughs> Is that her ringtone? Hey, Debbie. Oh, that's a funny ringtone you made it. Oh. Are you ready for me? <laughs> <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, I know lots of songs. What kind of ones does she like? Hey, why did you, why are you, like, having me play the music? Is that what the musical therapy is you were telling me about? So, uh, this, we're almost at the end of the call, but he, he, she's on, he's on the phone with Debbie and just confirming everything that Lorne yeah. had in his mind. So, I wonder, I don't know if that was the plan going in, or they just went with whatever Lorne's paranoia was. I'm sure they just went with it, because who would have guessed that Lorne would think that? <laughs> Oh, all right. All right, cool. I'll do that one. I know that one a lot, all right? All right. I'm sorry. Hey. all ends where it goes. That's weird. Hey, Winnie. Oh, your sister, Elisa K, I'm going to play. Um, I'm going to sing or something. She says, I got stool. I got the music. <laughs> <laughs> The most Mexican you can get. <laughs> <laughs> so Debbie's, Debbie's on the phone. She's like, play my favorite Tejano song. <laughs> play that song for my youth. The one they always used to play. The, play, the one they played at my Quintiana. <laughs> and he's like, all right. Oh, I know that one. <laughs> no one hung it. up or is that it? No, that's it. Lauren taps out. Lauren, Lauren taps out. He finally gave up. That was it. That was the thing that broke it. He wasn't on the phone long enough for the actual mariachi band to show up. Damn it. Four piece mariachi band just in the hotel, in the hospital room, just playing their hearts out. Oh that would have been a, Yeah, so that was um that was it for uh, uh for physical therapy. Next up we have we have, we actually have some sloth cat animations. That it's a Lorne versus Dan part one and two, and then a Lorne and Dan's unforgettable rivalry part one and two. So that's how we're gonna we're, we're gonna be moving on to next for uh for Woman Month. And I figure out we've also if you had any suggestions for how we can improve uh, these doodles, um, Blue Boy, I thought you can you can offer those. I will help as best as I can. Oh wait, I have the screen covered, don't I? You do. And no one was even gonna tell me. Well, at first I thought you were just well, playing hey, a call. Man, I was. I was gonna make you look stupid. Okay. Well, 
I mean, we're looking at your animations now, so now we're going to do Hey, Julia. Yeah, this is Perry. Yeah, I hear it's your uh, birthday now. Well, uh, ha- well, happy birthday. Now, now the guy who's, who uh, told me this is uh, Westmos. Westmos. The motherfucker that likes to fuck with me all the time. Okay. So, uh, let's see. I don't know what uh, what that means. So, is, uh, is he your boyfriend or something? Or your... Uh, I don't know. All right. Now, I've had a problem with, with uh, Westmos for quite some time now. But uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. I've, I've had some problems with, with Westmos. Now, I see you uh, do laser hair removal as a hobby. Well, that's cool. Good for you. Okay? Good for you. It says here you're both coming by to give me a free session. No, 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 no. Fuck you. You're not coming over to do a fucking free session. I don't have any hair on my body anymore. I got scars on my stomach from the last time that I had fucking hair removal. You fucking assholes. Now it says here you love my stage car. I never had a stage auto accident. You son of a bitch. I was 16 and nearly killed by the lady on the wrong side of the freeway. You fucking cocksucker. So fuck you and your stupid ignorant rat. Remark a stage auto accident. Yeah, fuck you, you fucking bitch. And it says here that uh, Julia has two birthday wishes. To see my tattoo room. And never gonna get removed, you motherfucker. Fuck off. And the real line is just... There ain't no more time. Never again. I'm not saying anything about what fucking happened to me. Back in 1992, I was sexually assaulted. You motherfucker. Fuck. All of you, you motherfuckers, good day, you fucking assholes. So, Cat, what program do you edit? I don't need to ask him. Um, it's something called Moho. Moho. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that name really draw me to it. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Send me a message that let me know that you've been talking to him a lot. This is his message. I'm confident that if you and your girlfriend call me, I'll take her within five minutes. You bitch boy, you ain't got the balls to do it. How much have you been talking to this fucking queer? How, how willing are you, uh, how, how much are you willing to lose me for this fucking queer? You better keep in mind, you just may lose me if you say the wrong fucking thing. I think you better tell him off. I don't think it, I know it. <laughs> you better fucking tell him off. Because you, you'll lose me if you don't. Hello. What's up, Dan? I love the fan. Hey, what's up, chicken tenders? <laughs> what, are you, chicken what are you doing there, fucking ball sucker? No, that has... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you like, doing? This, this was his plan. <laughs> How he's gonna... He has the insult of, like, a 12-year-old. <laughs> what are you doing there, fucking ball <laughs> sucker? <laughs> Why don't you answer him, Dan? Stop being a bitch. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. No, not yet. And then man, you get a, you're engaged to a fucking guy. You, I, I, how can you not be a fucking ball sucker? You, no, 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 let me, no, let, let me tell you something, Lauren. <laughs> I got eight inches, okay? Eight inches. You, got, you, got, you have eating issues? Yeah, you're going for meatballs. What? I got you're eight going inches down meatballs. your throat. Yeah, 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 down my throat. I'll fucking kill you. You think you're putting the fucking any inches towards my fucking throat? Yeah. You'll be dead. I'm gonna hold you by the I'm ears, ears on, and I'm gonna. I'm homophobic, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm homophobic, <laughs> motherfucker. I don't know if you're twisted. I'm gonna fuck your face with my eight inches cock. <laughs> Why don't you meet me in person and say that, bitch? I'm coming. You don't dare to you. 
Because you're I a fucking this would be a scary ass little motherfucker. Is that for the for the deal? For the, though, yeah. Oh, for the Blamont. Every time I use it, I get uh, if in anything it gets eighteen plus automatically. Lamandre? Yeah. yeah. Even the yeah. cartoon Lamandre. Well, I mean, I've never done yeah. a cartoon because I don't have ten minutes to, you know, whatever this is. Um, <laughs> no, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> but if I use there's there's like the images of it. If I that's why on that one video I covered it with beer cans because when I first uploaded it, it automatically was eighteen plus. Oh, okay. I know that. Yeah. So guys, you cannot put a. A large black fake penis is apparently not kid appropriate. Who would have guessed? <laughs> yeah. So you can't show, so your kid can't come on YouTube and just see a big black dildo in a pedophile's hand now? Yeah, well, that's the issue. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Fucker. <laughs> no, she ain't gonna fucking gonna do that. Kick your ass. You say it on, you it. Say it on the phone because you're a fucking chicken shit. You ain't got the balls. Why don't you, why don't you say that face to me? Face to face. Why don't you say that to me face to face? <laughs> yeah. See how long you fucking last. Don't call my fucking woman a bitch, you fucking oh, piece of shit, you fucking a queer. Bitch. You're a fucking queer. Yeah. You couldn't even satisfy Emma. You're a fucking queer. Is audio cutting out? Is that audio? Is that? It's only original? when I, I can't hear it, Dan. It, that, well, no, nah, that was a technical difficulty. Oh, okay. I never, um, fixed. That you never fixed. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah. anyone watching, there's nothing wrong with your. With your well, you uh, know what? I did YouTube fix it, uh, but not in this video. There's I fixed nothing it, wrong like... with your with your PSPs or your Wii U's. Um, your Nintendo DS. Yeah, your DS's are, are just fine. Your Cybeco, nothing is wrong with your Cybeco. That is Sloth Cap's fuck up. That he <laughs> never. That's the kind of quality control. You can expect here at that Monegro's. So you uh, just uploaded this, didn't even fix it. Yeah, you, know I didn't did, even you know who did stuff like that? Brewer and George. There was no, you know, there was no need to fix it. I'm, I'm literally making cartoons of a pedo having an argument. It's how like, I didn't feel. <laughs> just say it, it, it was good enough for the community. Just say that. It was, it was like just like enough. a man is holding his arms up, going like. Like, you know, oh well, say, oh well, it was good enough for you, fuckers. Can you say that? Oh well, it was good enough for you, people. Well, it wasn't. All right. Well, mm. that was pretty. Uh, my, good. Mama, my mama don't like me to curse, so. <laughs> <laughs> she did give you $2 for that honey bun. You don't want She did give me 2 for that honey bun. Did you see that room? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Nice. Well, if I talk to her, Dan, <laughs> what if I talk to her, Dan? You don't have a chance. Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Yeah, shut oh, up you God. fucking queer. If me and Casey talk to Emma, you ain't never seeing Emma again. You never talking to Emma, okay? I got every really? where I, I am the only one that I am the only one that has not deleted off Emma's phone. <laughs> I've got everyone right where I want them. <laughs> I've got everyone right where I want. <laughs> you don't have a chance against me, Dan. Yeah, you can't win against this pedophile. I have well, me and Casey talk to Emma. Talking about you're done. You will never ever fucking touch Emma again. Yeah. I'll touch who I want, when I want, and how I want. <laughs> All right. I'm taking. Well, why don't you why, why don't you stand face to face with me, Dan, and say that you fucking queer? Yeah. I got your bitch, okay? You don't have my bitch. I got your bitch. My okay. woman sticks with me. Then why is she all over my... My seat? woman loves me. Why is she She on don't my give seat? a fuck about you. She's on she's my learning, seat. She's learning, she is learning right now the exact kind of person that you are. Why? Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Why you should not Don't fucking seat? call her a bitch, you fucking piece of shit, fucking queer. That only sucks fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> asshole <laughs> Look, I, I can't even I, think I, of the <laughs> only sucks asshole. Yeah. Who's sucking asshole? This kind well, damn. 
He's that's the kind of guy he is. The kind he's exclusively, exclusively sucking assholes. Lorne is, obs- Lorne is obsessed with a man sucking another man's genitals. Dude, he reminds me if you've ever seen American Beauty. No. Um, all right. Well, um, it's also don't even... a uh, but uh, <laughs> alleged, allegedly, um, if, if the, in the movie, dude, there's this guy. He's obs- he's very homophobic, very very homophobic, and very upset about the homosexual the, the neighbor who he believes is homosexual. But he does show up at the end to try and kiss that man in the mouth. Um, <laughs> and 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 you've heard I've heard of people who would go out and like attack gay couples living openly as gay in gay communities at, at, at like gay clubs because they were closeted and they hated the fact that other people could go out there and live freely as you know homosexual that's how it sounds because lauren's just like he keeps shoehorning in the fact that dan sucks dicks and like but like so dan is an open is openly Bisexual, right? right. In, in it makes no sense. And, and talk about he's at the club. He's like rubbing, rubbing dicks with dudes <laughs> right. and glitter pants. Why? That's not an it's insult. It's not an insult. Him. Yeah, you're saying he's good at getting laid. That's like on the office when Michael Scott says, "Is there anything I can less offensive I can call you than Mexican?" <laughs> and he said, "Well, yeah, Mexican's not offensive." He goes, "Well, it depends on how you say it." <laughs> <laughs> She's down your throat, bitch. Hang up on that fucking queer. Hang up. Hang up on that I'm fucking piece of shit. I, I don't want to hear his fucking voice. He's a fucking gay. Yeah, if he had any respect for any of us, and if he had any respect for any of us, he wouldn't talk like this. Hang up on that fucking queer. KZ, hang up on him. KZ? <laughs> KZ, hang up on him. I love all the hey. No one ever listens and actually hangs up. No. They never do it. And he's always like, come on, hang up, hang up. <laughs> you fucking queer? I have a mutual person. I will fucking literally fucking beat the hell out of you. I'm going to rip your fucking head off if I see you in person, you <laughs> fucking pedophile. Fuck you fucking queer. Yeah. You don't have a fucking chance. That's why you're a woman because you like fucking little kids. That's Ooh. why. You, you fucking, fucking, you fucking queer. Isn't that funny? My woman knows better. What do you want to play with, fucking little girls in the fucking kiddie pool? You fucking uh, ass. I want to. Uh, I want to play with you, fucking bitch, in the fucking ring, and I just beat the hell out of you. you in fucking the ring. Yeah. My Set woman knows exactly what kind of person I am. Set it up. So you don't have a chance, Talk faggot. Hey, fag. Hey, fag. You even you even undermine your own fucking. Woman that you had before. What? Because you already know she loves anymore. me more than she loves you. What is your boxing name? She loves Casey name? more than she loves you. What is your boxing name? Shut up. You don't have a chance. What is, what you is don't your, have a chance, faggot. What is your boxing name? The Canvas Kid? She's going to listen to me, Casey, long before she loves you because she knows that you don't fight. You're a fucking piece of shit. If you're standing face to face. What would Lauren's boxing nickname be? Lauren's name? Because I, I would go with like the Punch and Pedo. That's a good one. I would go with um. Uh, ooh, I don't know the creature. <laughs> the creature. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you think about it, Slothcat? Let us know what uh what. Lauren I already know what mine is. What's what's yours? Is blue du- du- blue Dwayne the Rock Johnson boy. Well, that's yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, and I of course am a uh, Wes El Peligro Negro most <laughs> um, the Danger Black. So <laughs> the Danger oh, yeah. Black. <laughs> And I'm Coco Be Sure. <laughs> so that, I think we need to face off against Rob Sop and them other bitches. Yeah. Three three man three animated man. sloth cat. Yeah. Get on that. Six sloth. man six man tag. Yep. yep. Oh, it can happen. Yeah. It can happen. It needs to happen. Bye, faggot. Bye, faggot. Casey, hang that phone up on him right now. I'm gonna tear yeah, your fucking yeah. head off, Lauren. Come here, fag boy. Faggot. Fag boy. Come up here and do it, fag boy. You're you got my right there, fag boy. Come up here and do it. You fucking queer. Oh, I'm going to fuck you up. Come on, bitch. Bring it on, you fucking faggot. Come on. You want to buy this for me right now? <laughs> I'm not for you. I don't want to buy this you. I want to beat the little fuck out of you, you stupid bitch. I'm gonna fucking smack you right in the fucking face. Fight, fight, fag boy, fight. 
You are well, fucking arm wrestle. Damn. You're going to get your fucking head beat in, faggot. Sucker. Come up here, fag boy. I'm coming to Cornville. How about that? Oh, oh, that was a butthole. I'm waiting. And uh, in a true woman month fashion, not a, not a single woman voice in that video, Sloth Cat. Not at all. You put together, you put together quite the playlist. <laughs> and uh, and then next up we have a uh, Lauren versus Dan, part two. You know, I was. This was back when I was naive. You know, when I made these cartoons. Mm-hmm. What do you? What do you mean? I was just more, you know, sparkly. You know, like more, you know, sparkly. <laughs> like you sparkly. Know, I was like feeling it more. Oh, you feel me? You were, oh, you One thing I like to. Meat. Yeah. One thing I like to point out is that that's the same exact cup Ramona had. With the scissors and stuff in it, you just pasted it here as well. Yeah, um, you didn't even redraw it. You didn't even redraw it cell by cell the way like. Well, just, well to tell you the truth, uh, all of this is just all reused, you know, items. The boxes over there, that plant, all of this is, you know. They're saying there's really? zero original in anything that you do. Yeah, like, I just, you know, just recycle. I believe in recycling for the environment. And you hate women. Yeah. Well, I don't recycle hate you. and disrespect women. You just like big titties. You know, he, believes in, he believes in recycling, recycling women too. The way he be going through them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes you, know, you should go people. back. You know, this man sometimes you gotta double back. And recycle them bitches. Say it, Floss. <laughs> I'm coming Happy to Cornville. How about that? Uh oh. Is that Allegiant Stadium? He doesn't I, I don't know what I don't remember. So fucking <laughs> hey, hey, there are there are some queers up here too. You might be able to go to the fucking Blue Moon Bar and fucking thank you. Lord knows the queer. name of the gay bar. Well, perfect. He doesn't know what well, restaurants. The... In case he was like, what restaurants are near you? He couldn't name a single restaurant, but he knows the gay bars. You know why he would know the gay bar though? But honestly. The reason he would know the gay bar is the same reason that every high school kid where I grew up knew the gay bar. Because when you're in, when you're a 13, you make fun of someone by telling them, I saw them at the gay bar or, you know, whatever the gay bar. And, and where I was, it was like Hillcrest was the area where like all the gay bars and gay friendly places were. So that's what you would make fun of someone. And so Lauren is a 50 year old child. So of course he would know the fucking blue moon or the pink flamingo whatever the bar was from police academy that they would always end up in i'm looking at the blue moon bar and it, i don't i can't find it well any bar is a gay bar if you masturbate in behind it yeah um, if you kiss a boy in there it makes it a gay bar <laughs> any really if you try hard enough guys <laughs> any bar can become a gay bar and that's another message from sloth <laughs> <laughs> then i can go up to cornfield we're not married up to have a woman Wait, so you said you didn't find the Blue Moon Bar? No. So Lauren made up. Lauren made up a gay bar. I guess I couldn't. There's nothing about. There's no Blue Moon Bar in Maine. Okay. Well, did you look up Gay Bar Cornville, Maine? There's got to be at yeah. least one in the in the, local, that, in the gay nightlife district. Bar, Maine. Um. No, there's there's no. Wait, the Blue Moon Bar, legendary gay bar in the heart of Lawrenceville. That came up. I don't know where that is. Lawrence, is that Kansas? That's in Pittsburgh, apparently. It says Lawrenceville, gay Pittsburgh. So I don't know where I don't know where the Blue Moon <laughs> Wait, Bar is. Lawrence, <laughs> Lawrence was the name of a legendary gay bar in Pittsburgh? Apparently. Because you don't just, you don't just, that's not a name you just come up with. No. 
Why would Lauren know the name of a legendary? We have to call. We have to make some phone calls. <laughs> there might be a picture of Lauren crooning on the wall of the. Of Could the you imagine? Be oh, great. I can't imagine. And I'll fuck you up. Come on, brother. Brother. Come on, brother. Hello. You know my address. I'll fuck you up, Bill. I I will allow you to step in my driveway. But one step is all you're going to get. That's all you need, bitch. What's going to happen? You're going to be back on the pavement, brother. You don't have to. You will be back on the pavement so fast. You will never even have a fucking clue about where you were. What what pavement? It's all dirt. Well, it'll be paved when you you get there. It'll be paved. Okay. Just let me know when. It'll be paved. Um... This is the, and the worst ring, the worst ring work uh, of all time. Lorne is awful on the mic. He's awful. Hey, man, he is bad on the mic. If I come up- He's no blue boy, Dwayne the Rock. What was it? What? Blue Dwayne the Rock Johnson boy. <laughs> <laughs> up to Cornville. Your girlfriend is going to have to watch me annihilate you. And then I'm gonna mouth fuck you in front of her. Whoa! And I also know that you're you're dreaming. Yeah. You are far from fucking dreaming. You're far from dreaming. You fucking come up the corridor and you step in my fucking driveway. You're gonna go home. You you just might go in a fucking body bag. In a body bag, really, one? Yeah. (laughs) Really, man. You want to test your fucking luck? You bring your ass up here. I am telling you right now. You bring your fucking ass up here. I will, I, I will guarantee you, you will not go home in a body bag because I know you have family members that care about you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet of you, Lauren. <laughs> I guarantee you won't go home in a body bag because you have family members that care about you. That's the only reason, because if you didn't, Lauren would send you home in a body so bag. Body bag. Uh, and just uh, real quick, so Nugs left this quote in a Jesse live stream, and uh, Jesse wanted to call the FBI because someone made a death threat. Oh, yeah. She was ready to call the FBI. It's a dance for the You will not go home in the body bag, but you will go to the hospital before you go home. <laughs> you can bring all your... Shut up, bitch. You can bring all... Hey, hey you fucking queer. Don't go on my limb in a bitch, you fucking stupid fucking piece of shit queer. Nice. I just did. Bitch. Oh. Yeah, well, Casey, hang up on the motherfucker. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. I'll smack you. Casey. <laughs> oh, really? Hey. Hey. hey bitch ass fucking queer. Why don't you fucking bring your ass up here? Bring yeah. your ass up here, motherfucker. Because I'm going to show you what a real fucking smack is. You know what they're to. You know why? Because you're, you're a chicken shit. You're a chicken shit piece of bitch fucking queer. A Lord, chicken shit, you a bitch, fucking queer. Just throw words out. Just throw what words out. doing? Just throw curse words out. You're like a piece a... of bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ass blood. When I, when I was in fourth grade, I was like the hit. We had these reading groups that we had to, that we put together. Mm-hmm. Now I was the hit of my reading group because at the end, I would just start saying curse words. <laughs> I, would just string, right. I would just string a lot of them together. And Hell that yeah, is enough, dude, that's enough to make you popular at nine years old. The kid who knows. Yeah. You can say well, you're 55, first though. First. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, little weird. But, like, you, you know, ask nine-year-old Westmost to string together some curse words, people are like, holy shit, that kid's going, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody in the comments made, you know, a comment that the thumbs is all, you know, weird, mm-hmm. which they are. They, they're pretty, they're not in the right place. It offended no. me, though. That comment offended me, and um, now the thumbs are on the actual forearm. Are so, they now? Yeah, on the new, yeah, on the newer ones, now they're going almost to the elbow. That's what the thumb would be. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, didn't even, I didn't even notice the thumb until you pointed it out. But now like where I a can't. dog has their little thing? <laughs> 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 we have dew claws now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want Lauren cut my nails though, because it'll go all the way to the quick. <laughs> you don't dare to fucking face me, Dan. You want me to put you, you in the talk to fucking talk, but you don't have any fucking balls. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, the old one. Walk, walk. He's going to get sucked off. The way he I'm walks. coming up to the fuck off tomorrow morning. Don't ever fucking call her a bitch. Have we been texting back and forth? No, but we're going to now. Tell Lauren the truth. Have we been texting? No, we haven't. But since he's such a bitch boy, now I'm going to text you and now I'm going to send you cockpits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you fucking motherfucker. You, you really know how to fucking ruin the shit, don't you, damn? I'm you taking, really know how to fucking ruin it, don't you, damn? I'm yeah. taking your girl, Lauren. That's it. You ain't, you ain't taking my fucking girl. No, you're not. I just sent you a picture of my cock, Lauren. Eight inches. Look at it, bitch. I, I didn't even fucking bring up your fucking. Crew. He's gonna look at it. You know, he God is gonna look much. at it. He's gonna look. He at will it. look at it later for and sure. And he's gonna. He's not gonna delete it. He's gonna keep it because he's gonna look at it a couple times. Right. Ass fucking pick, you fucking freak. Yeah. Look at my cock, Lauren. Shut up, bitch. Hey, look- hey don't call her a fucking woman, bitch. You fucking cunt kind of hole. No. No, I think you don't have any respect for it all, do you? You don't know any respect for women at all, do you, Dan? You just got my fucking woman to bed. I'm gonna unmute. What did you call fucking Emma? Hot white. You was close to Emma. What did you call her, you fucking worthless fuck? Hang up on. What's up, Dan? Hey, what's up, chicken tenders? You (laughs) bitch. It's just me and you now, tough guy. Oh, I can't wait to fucking fill your girlfriend's cunt with a real cock. Oh, my God. That's a, a real cock. cock? You ain't got a fucking real cock. What? A real cock. Everybody's seen your little pathetic fucking pepperoncini. That's true. I got a real cock, motherfucker. You got a fucking yeah. little Italian pepper. Yeah, Come on. You know <laughs> You, you know, there's an awful lot of people are obsessing over my cock, Dan. Come on, pepper boy. An awful lot of people, uh, an awful lot of people are obsessing over my cock, man. Yeah, I mean, because I, it looks like a no crazy way. straw. There's no way he looks at his cock and thinks people want that. No, he thinks people are because it's like people on the internet because we like to see pictures of Lorne naked because it's, it's embarrassing. He thinks that everyone's obsessed with his cock. That's there's, how could you think that? I don't know what else he'd be talking about. Who else is obsessed? Is unless he means like when he's obsessed with cock. <laughs> there's no way he never saw someone get made fun of before. Like, does he not recognize any of this? I guess not. He doesn't. He's like, they've never seen a dick that just bends 90 degrees like that. They're all yeah. fucking impressed. Like, I mean, it's weird, Lauren. People are obsessing over yours. No, I got a fucking eight inches. Of- it's actually a medical term that um, because we talked in one of our marketing meetings last week, we were, we were discussing it. There is a medical term for when your dick is so filled with scar tissue that it does turn. Like I can't remember, I can't remember the actual name of it, but I called it candy cane dick because <laughs> if you're gonna remember something, that's the way to remember it. But there is a medical term for it. Someone should. I've I've heard of this actually. Yeah. I think I did look this up once too. So so Lauren, so is that what Lauren has? He's got a bunch of scar, dick scar tissue, and that's what made it curve. Well, he seems to think it's from masturbating too much, right? Well, what's he? Is he masturbating? Is he like? Does he have a slice, like a hook? Is what's this man doing? It's supposed to be straight up and down. Why? Why are you? Why are you going off to the left like that? What are you doing? I have no idea. Was he, oh, was he jacking off from around a corner? What's that? What he? Yeah. <laughs> well, he was peeping and stalking people. <laughs> <laughs> he was jerking over around the corner while he was watching people. Hard yeah, salami, baby. Hard salami. Eight inches. I'm gonna fuck eight inches. I'm gonna fuck eight, eight, eight inches dead. Yes. You usually people that say they have eight inches, they usually have maybe fucking three if they're lucky. Yeah, no, no. Aren't you look at no. look at the message I sent you. I showed yeah, you a you picture of my cock. A real cock. Lauren, so when a guy <laughs> talking about his eight inch cock, they normally have three, and Lauren has seen enough cocks to know uh, yeah. that uh, uh, most of the guys at the truck stop are gonna are gonna exaggerate about their cock size. And once you get into the glory hole, guess what's coming in? It's not eight inches. I mean, it's, sure, it's impressive for Lauren, but it's not the eight inches he was promised uh, before, <laughs> before this anonymous gas station hookup. 
So yeah, guys lie. Guys will lie about their dick size according to Lauren. Lauren paid for a full yeah, eight yeah, inches. Yeah. What's that? So Lauren paid for a full eight inches. Exactly. Yeah, and he wants a full eight inches. He doesn't want four inches twice. That's bullshit. This isn't Subway. You know what, Dan? I didn't bring up your fucking measures because you say it's super shit. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to see a real cock. I'm going to bust your fucking ass when I go to Cornville. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you Dan, up. Dan, did you say you're a lawyer? Yeah. You know, I have never met a lawyer that sounds as stupid as you do. I'm as good in the boxing ring as I am in the courtroom, baby. <laughs> good in the boxing ring <laughs> as in the courtroom. Really? <laughs> really? Really, motherfucker? Well, well once, you, once you meet me in the boxing ring, once you meet me in the fucking street fight, even a, a, a boxing ring, I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm I just want to beat the living fuck out of you. I'm fuck you up. Bring it up there, Dan. Yeah. Don't talk it. Don't talk it. Don't talk it. Don't talk it, so-called lawyer boy. Oh, that was an insult? Lawyer boy? Okay, what are you, unemployed? You bitch? I'm not unemployed. I work. What? I, I, I have a job, Dan. Yeah, what's the job? 20 hours a week? I'm going to use your girlfriend like a blow-up fuck doll. Wow. Do you understand me? <laughs> Do you understand me? <laughs> Whatever talk you're talking, man, I don't hear you. What? Just show up. You're going to be washing my drawers. Do you understand me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the problem is, you come in your fucking drawers when I wash them, because I'm fucking dunk your ass in the fucking stream down the fucking road. When Lauren is not good at this. He's really not. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'll wash your underwear, but you'll still be in them. <laughs> you'll be wearing your underwear we'll be, when I wash we'll be, them. We'll be swimming and playing grab ass in the fucking creek. <laughs> Lauren, you're Lauren, Lauren, you're bad at this. He's bad on and the, the last mic. Time. <laughs> we, we don't we don't give him the mic in my new company. We don't give. Him yeah, I mic. wouldn't give him. The, I no, would, you, give, the look, you give everyone a test. You give everyone a test. When they start sounding like Bob Backlund, then you take the mic from him. Uh, and yeah, this dude yeah. is this dude's a, he's in Ultimate Warrior territory where he just rambles. <laughs> You know, when you start sounding like Great Khali, we, we just let <laughs> Paul Heyman speak for you from now on, okay? Time your drawers go. Do you not understand me? Oh you dirty God. bitch. Look, look, let, let me, let me give you a little here. fucking hint to this. You're going to show up in my fucking dooryard. I'm going to grab you by the fucking hair, Make love drag you down to the fucking brook. Oh. And I'm gonna dunk your ass in the fucking water, that's and that's where your door's gonna be fucking wash because you'll be shitting your britches. Oh, okay. Okay, so that'll be your <laughs> come up. Why do you talk like an old person? Like that was all know. old people were. Because he is an old person, <laughs> but he's not that type of old like person though. Like, like he, look who he <laughs> hangs out with. He hangs out with with his aunt and his mom. That is the Cornville Mafia. Gwen and his aunt. That's who he hangs out with. He sits around gossiping about people and 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 complaining about people. So of course he's gonna talk about shit and britches. But like, why shit your britches? Why did he just explain, like it was so good the first time he needed to explain it again? I'm gonna take you down to the brook and dunk your fucking head in, I and guess. that's gonna get your drawers lost because you'll be shitting your britches. <laughs> Meanwhile, doesn't, hell, dude. doesn't Winnie just shit her? Her pants, like for no Constantly. reason. Constantly, <laughs> just for no reason. She's probably shitting herself right now in the ring. She's constantly shitting her britches. Shit your britches. Out of the water, and I'm all dripping and looking sexy for your girlfriend Casey. So I beat your ass in front of her, and then I have a nice <laughs> fuck fest. Wow. Uh, yeah. And now I know you're living in a dreamland because when you come up out of the fucking water, you're just going to be dunked back under again. When I'm done with... You, when come, I'm up, done. you come up out of the water, I'm going to have the fucking nearest clear in the fucking neighborhood to fucking bend you over and start fucking you. No. When I'm done with your girlfriend... Like, like, how how is that is? After I beat you up, <laughs> you're going to have sex with a woman. Well, no, that's <laughs> like not basic, what No, that's but I'm saying that's what it would be like saying to you. Like, I'm going to kick your ass and then you're going to have sex. No, 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 you no, won't no. have sex with. No, that's no. Lauren said that's not what Lauren said. He said after I fuck you up, I'm gonna get the neighborhood queer to bend you over and fuck you. So it's not you're gonna willingly have sex. You're gonna be emasculated. I'm gonna fuck you up. Then you're gonna get fucked up. 
Now I get it. Against your will by this dude. You know, because, listen, I'm the man who tried to sexually assault a child on TV, and now I'm going to tell you how I'm going to get you sexually assaulted after we fight. <laughs> okay? That's the kind of guy. I'm Lord Armstrong. I try and get people sexually assaulted. <laughs> Again, and then they have the nearest dog in the neighborhood, a bunch of fucking little peckers, you two inch pecker off. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, <laughs> this is just so. So first, Lauren's going to beat beat his ass. Yes. That's step one. Step, step one. two, the neighborhood the neighborhood gaming is going to come over. Every, every neighborhood has one. Well, the, yeah, the, and, and Lawrence has two, um, because I guess there's another one other than him. Uh, the neighborhood <laughs> gaming is going to come over and make love uh, to Dan, with or without Dan's permission. But Dan will be so out of it, he won't know what's going on. Hold That's on, right. hold on. Then three, the neighborhood dogs. The neighborhood dogs. <laughs> There's a neighbor. There's just a neighborhood dog. The, neighborhood the dog. nearest neighborhood dog, which would be one of Lauren's dogs. <laughs> the nearest neighborhood dog is going to come over, and and it'll be it'll be told it's trained. It's probably trained to bite off a penis. And right. So it's going to so so he, the man will be beat up. He'll be assaulted, and then his penis will be. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You don't want to kill my body of water again, then? I'm just going to stop beating the little fuck out of you because you called my girlfriend a fucking bitch. Whoa. Not only is your girlfriend a bitch, when I'm done fucking your girlfriend, Damn. I'm going to fuck Damn. your mother. No. Fuck her. You're, in there. You're <laughs> never going to talk. Fuck her. You stepped in it now, Dan. You don't know what you just started. Yes, no, he has no clue what he just unlocked. That's my girlfriend. I'm going to fuck your mother, too. Uh -oh. oh, no. She likes that. Oh, whoa. No. <laughs> With the sugar. All right, Dan. Oh, yeah. You want to talk about my girlfriend and my mother? Hey, yeah. motherfucker. Gonna suck I'm going gonna, gonna to find out your address now, motherfucker. Because oh, yeah? you got the two people in the world that I care most about. Yeah. I'm going to find out your fucking address, motherfucker. And you know I can because you know how close me and them are. So I now I'm going to find out your address. I'm right. coming down to your house and you're going to be fucking dead. Hey, Lord, I'm coming for you. You want to you save my fucking girlfriend and my fucking mother? I'm yeah. coming down to your house now, motherfucker. Fuck you your. fucking created a fucking, you created a major issue, motherfucker. Fuck your mother. Your Katie, mother. hang up on that bitch. I'm gonna hang up on that bitch now. So. Hang up on him. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, shit. Carl Weathering. I have nothing to look for anyway. Who likes a mess? <laughs> I failed high school. I, I have no motivation to finish it. I don't have a job. I'm a fuck up. Look, we'll be sure. I wasn't going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he shaped like a stick of deodorant? <laughs> <laughs> man, that was some good wrestler right there, man. Oh, that was that was amazing. Um, so okay, so now next up we have uh we have some some more sloth cats shit. Rip off. Yeah, I know you are already subscribed. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, I know you're already subscribed to Sloth Cat, but if you're not, subscribe to Sloth Cat. Uh, support Sloth Cat on Patreon. Don't buy any. There, are, there's a link uh, to buy some Sloth Cat merch, some Monegro's merch, and LWO merch. That Blue Boy. I, I please do not buy the LWO merch unless it's ironically. <laughs> um, or like if you make if you make burn videos where you just uh, maybe you buy merch and burn it. On live streams, if you do that, are you cool with that, Blue Boy? I'm cool with that. Whatever yeah. you want to do, your yeah, money. You Don't buy those shirts. They will get your IP address, and who knows what they'll do. <laughs> that's well, that's <laughs> true. That's true. 
fuck your mother. <laughs> Why would you do something to hurt us? You just said you were you didn't believe me that I'm fake, so I don't fucking want to hear from you right now. I don't even know I'm fucking fake. But I'm pissed off about the fucking stupid shit you've been doing. I didn't do it. I was hurting. Really? I was hurting. There's that cut of scissors. <laughs> you, was, you, was, you was hurting and you didn't think you were hurting me? You yeah, were. Of scissors How many times did I have to stick it off? Just on your table? No, no I do not, actually. He, he I keep my scissors in a drawer. <laughs> yeah, he had to go to that place to get furniture. He didn't have the fifty dollars, so, so <laughs> there's nowhere to just like. There's not a lot of places. The right, Swathi, you were saying there's just not a lot of places to put shit. There's just not enough places. You just, usually just get a cup and put some scissors and um yeah. some toothbrushes or pins. I think those are. That's, yeah, there's that. a toothbrush in there. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I want to know, how many times do I have to say it, Winnie? Dan, Dan, Dan. How many months have I fucking said it? Dan, do you love me, Winnie? Yeah. Do you love me? Are you okay? Who do you love me more, me or Dan? Oh my God! I can't believe you're doing this to me. Yeah, yeah, fucking right I am because I'm tired of the goddamn games. You don't want me, I'll go look for somebody else. No, get You want Dan, you can go after him. Uh, <laughs> You're the one that fucking slept oh, beside him without your fucking shirt on, with your tits hanging out. You're, you're the one that fucking bought a sweatshirt with a letter D on it. Representing Dan. Representing Dan. I think you probably better make up your fucking mind because I'm done with the game. I mean, from everything you just said, it sounds like she did make up her mind. <laughs> right. Sounds like her mind is, is is pretty well made up. She got that um that sweater with the D on it. Are you kidding me? What does that D represent again? Represents Dan. Oh my god. Or or it could represent damn Lorne is fine. He should have asked <laughs> that. He should have asked if that's what it stood for. No game. I'm tired of you being mean. Well, fucking yelling at me. Maybe you better, maybe maybe you better prove it to me that you're done with the game. I or that there's no game. Playing a game. I am trying to I'm, be. A good I'm game. done with drama. Get drunk. This, this is how I deal with drama. Hang up on me. Break up with me if this is how it is. I don't want it. Uh, what? I don't know if you want me or if you want Dan. Stop talking you haven't told me about yet. Dan. Stop calling Dan and you stop talking about Dan. I don't talk about Dan unless you do it. Why are you trying to stick it oh, in Oh, bullshit. Machine? Bullshit. Because you always talk about Dan. You bought a fucking sweatshirt with the letter D on it representing Dan. Yeah. No way. You certainly didn't buy one with an L on it representing on my oh. boyfriend slash husband. Dan, uh, my boyfriend slash husband. I tried to kill myself and I'm waiting to go to the hospital. You don't need to call yourself again. both of them. It's one or the other. <laughs> but I, I, just, I love when, Dan, when someone will just pop up on the phone with a hello. Yeah. Just hello. The phone just never rings. They're, they're, always they're just there. there. They're just there. That's how phones work. That's how phones work. If you have a non, if you have a phone that like you can use without being a pedophile, people just pop up on them now. Ringing? Mm. That's that's old school. New phones don't do that. You just pop up. You're just there. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Please. What, wait, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, Dan. Yeah, Dan. Yeah, Dan. Tell me that, Dan. Tell me yeah. that. Don't tell me that, Dan. Wait a minute. What the fuck's going on? Emma I... knows what's going on, Dan. So don't 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 listen to anything what he says. Call Emma before you before you you react on anything what he I'm says. I'm trying to kill myself. Listen to how he's talking to me. Why would you do if Emma tried to kill herself? Would you keep winning? Lauren, did she winning? Kill herself? Winning. You make Lauren. up your mind right now. Do you 
Dude, shut up, Dan. <laughs> Winning. You make up your mind right now. Do you want me or do you want Dan? Lauren, shut the fuck up. Dad, fuck you. He's being nice. Lauren, shut the fuck up, Dan. Fuck you, bitch. Winning. Do you want me or do you want no, Dan? No, she's not going to answer your question. She's not going to answer Shut up, Dan. No, I'm Yay. not. Gonna... Dan, you're too much of a fucking pussy to even answer my goddamn calls. I ain't listening to you. Shut up. You Winnie, do you want me or do you want Dan? It's not going to answer your fucking bullshit. I shut up, you fucking no. piece of shit. Winnie, no, do you just, want me or do you want Dan? He just struck out at Dan's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you, did, didn't you say you were animating uh, Lauren and, and Roy fighting? Yeah. Are you going to finish that one? Mm, yeah, I'm going to finish that one. Okay, all right. I know what that means. I'm, I'm gonna finish that one. I don't know about the dog plan y'all told me about. I still would know that they not. Just, why don't you just draw like a tail? Just a tail going back and forth, like you know, you can only see the tail. Then in your head, the dog is there. Because how does how's the dog not there? There's a tail going by. I don't like using my imagination that much. <laughs> well, I can tell, I can tell <laughs> by your animations you don't like using a lot of imagination. But I'm just saying that's a way right there. That's a way right there to do it. That's right, Wes. Thanks, Blue Boy. Damn. That's right. She's Wes. not going to answer you, man. All right. You all all want to be in a fucking gang? Be in your fucking gang. It's your problem. Wow. I don't know why you're yelling at us. And all he wants me to do is answer if I want to be with him or you. And he knows I want to be with him. He doesn't care. Oh, uh, no. He don't fucking know that winning. You calling me back so you can make me fucking hear all this shit. No, I'm not. Let me fucking, fucking tell Dan. you. Dan. I tell you constantly, shut the fuck up about Dan. You don't fucking know it, then you don't fucking want me. Dan. Dan, don't you ever fucking try to get in the middle of my fucking relationship with Dan. Hey, fuck face. I'm no, really you don't fucking business, really you cocksucker. What? I'll fucking beat your goddamn ass, you piece of you what? won't do anything, you, you fucking white. He's on a roll. He's on a roll, right? There's no, there's no. He's Dan is being backed into a corner, mm. and he's just, he's just spamming the X button. X, low kick, low kick, low kick, low kick. He's not going to stop. <laughs> he's not going to stop until Dan is down. Then he'll breathe. Is he still there? Yeah, he's done. He's trying to talk shit to you. Lauren. He said, don't get in the middle of my relationship with Dan. What's that <laughs> supposed to mean? He's a fucking piece of shit. He ain't gonna do nothing. And then that's uh, Jesse in her fox costume. All right, let's move on to uh, part two. And then after this, we close out with that Broren scene. And then that's it for Thank the first God. night of... Uh, of woman I month, can't wait for that. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. It's really not, uh, but that's a, uh, and that, and then that'll be it for the first night of, of woman month, featuring featuring no actual featuring woman. no women at all, yeah. the way it should be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's a sloth Nothing better than that. Yeah, he's a sloth cat. Sloth cat. Nothing better than that. He's a good man. That's a fact. See, I can sing too, Jesse. What? Baby. Don't you ever. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking <laughs> cat sucker! <laughs> Hello? Hey, you white piece of shit. There's you our cup again. You fucking piece of trash. <laughs> do not fucking call me again. No, I am going to keep calling you. And what are you going to do about it, Snaggletooth? Hello? That's fucked up. You could eat a whole fucking ear of corn with one bite. Hello? What are you so mad about? Why are you having your boyfriend fucking call me? He's not my boyfriend. I thought he could try to calm you down. Uh, nope, he's not doing a very good job. 
And I called them and I told them, told her to tell her fucking boyfriend to stay out of yours and my fucking business. Because that's bullshit, and I'm not going to fucking deal with that shit. I don't she, get in his and his bro, bullshit. She asked him to have He's not gonna, He is not going to get in mine. You're a fucking bullshit. I don't know who the fuck he thinks he is. I asked him. I know he's only out on the fucking line listening. <laughs> Man. He's not. He's still on the line in her business. <laughs> You fucking understand that, man? He's not there. Oh, yeah, once in a fucking lifetime, he's not there? Stop fucking calling him! I didn't. I'm talking to only you. All right, good. Now call him. Yeah. I'm going to fucking him. tell him. Yeah. Stay the fuck out of my your business. Matter of fact, you're going to tell him. You want to put him in it in our business? You're gonna take him out of our business. Yeah, dude, put your foot down, Lauren. Come on. You better not make me look like a fucking bad guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a late Hello. Yeah, and I'm sorry for doing asking you to call Lauren, and I shouldn't have done it. And Lauren wants me to not have you in a, a business anymore. Well, I don't really care what Lauren says. Dan, I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't get in yours and them as business. You don't get in mine and Winnie's business. You don't fucking need to be in it. Shut your buck tooth mouth. I don't give a <laughs> Dan, I'm fucking telling you, you little bitch. You say the fuck out of mine and Winnie's and Winnie's business. Isn't it a fucking miracle? I call you. You don't answer the goddamn phone, you fucking uh -oh. piece of shit. He's putting it together. But when Woody calls you, you answer, you motherfucker. There goes Drunk Lauren solving the case for Sober Lauren. And, and <laughs> Drunk Lauren is so much smarter than Sober Drunk, Drunk Lauren is reverse Hulk. Yeah. Uh, when Lauren gets drunk, he turns into actual Bruce Banner. <laughs> and that's, and that's <laughs> what he can solve. He can solve anything. He can, he can do anything. Uh, but, that, but we need Drunk Lauren back. That's what oh, probation took away. That's what probation took away from us. If he gets off probation, it's only a matter of time. Yeah. Oh yeah. He'll celebrate by getting drunk. Yeah. Calling Dan. You I... fucking slime bucket bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, get the fuck out of our business, you cock sucker. Yeah, Dan. So I'll tell you, I, I will find you, Dan. I will fucking find you, Dan. So I can find you very easily, Dan. Let me tell you something, Lauren. No offense to you. You don't fucking scare me, Dan, because I know what you fucking are. You're a fucking pussy that likes to run his fucking mouth. Let Fuck me... you, you little cocksucker. Run your fucking mouth to me, you little bitch. Then you come here and you fucking run your mouth to me face to face. Yeah, you think yeah. you're a fucking big, tough guy? Yeah, I am. Bring it on, Dan. Bring it on, Dan. No offense. You don't to fucking scare me a little bit, Dan. Oh, I know you're I You fucking you. bitch. I know you're I bitch. <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> so, all you fucking do is talk about that son of a bitch. You can't shut your fucking mouth about that fucking son of a bitch. You buy a fucking sweatshirt with a goddamn letter fucking D representing Damn. that fucking son of a bitch. When you have a fucking boyfriend. That you're supposedly in love with. And who would know that just something like a, a sweater with a D on it would get Lauren this upset? This upset? I mean, no, you, I don't know. You would expect something, right? Like maybe some anger or, or even yeah. he might just, it might do nothing. It might be a zero, a fucking no sell. It does He's, nothing. For right. Him. He's more mad at the sweater with a D than he is when she actually says, like, I want to suck Dan's cock. Or when she actually did, right? Yeah, Dan, this makes him more mad. Because <laughs> well, she's walking around with this sweater, and people are going to ask her, hey, what's D? And she's going to say, it stands for Dan. And they'll say, it's Dan. And she'll say, this guy whose cock I put in my mouth. Just, you know Nobody saying? does that. Nobody yeah. up, it opens up a whole conversation that Lauren doesn't want you to have one. And what if it's a guy, and he's like, I have a dick. Want to put it in your mouth? And she's like, sure. You see how... How it, what it does, Blue Boy? Yeah, now I do. Yeah. I'm sorry. 
You son of a fucking you be sorry you do the same stupid fucking bullshit across the lake. You all fucking drama go somewhere else. I don't want it. I don't want it, but you told me you were going to give me drama earlier, and I don't want it. Good. All right. You don't want fucking drama. I don't want fucking drama. So let me tell you right now, over the next two fucking months, you better not show me any fucking drama. You better keep your goddamn mouth shut about fucking things, because you fucking do the shit anymore. Forget ever meeting me. Oh. Okay. Fucking Sorry. forget it. Get it. And I want you to call Dan right now and tell okay, him. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> fucking good. Fuck. <laughs> you fucking good. Fucking good. Lord's baking with some shoes on. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I got my shoes on. Hello? And fucking speak up because you couldn't fucking not talk over me. Hello? Hello? Did you just call, you just call fucking Dan hey, again up, without me fucking knowing. Hey, pussy boy. What? What is wrong with you? How many times have I told you don't call somebody without fucking telling me? Couldn't help but call your fucking boyfriend without telling me though, could you? Well, yeah. He's not my boyfriend. He's my friend. And he wants to tell you he's my friend. So I want to let him know. And let you know too. Uh, no. Winnie, do you understand this? Understand what? Do you understand that Dan does not want to be your, your boyfriend? And what? I don't know if you want to be his girlfriend or not. Because if you try to fuck around with this bullshit with me again, mm-hmm. you'll be finding your whole fucking different path with a different boyfriend. Damn. Because oh, I no. won't be around. Damn. Damn. Oh, no. Yeah. You don't have to keep saying Dan. You just have to speak, Wendy. Dan. Um, <laughs> hello? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, like no boyfriend and girlfriend stuff, just friends. But if me and Lauren break up, would you rail me? <laughs> what does that mean? Nail me right Goodbye, in the Goodbye, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Good job, Sloth Cat. Yeah, great job. Uh, and then, and then last up, we have um, we have the the scene that i've been promising and we're not gonna be pausing this so unmute when i play this guys we're not gonna be we're gonna let it run straight through because it's a four minute and 45 second roaring scene which will feel like nine minutes yeah uh but you know what Uh, in honor you know before we do that in honor of woman's day let's play a tiffany lockhart song it's a song of woman empowerment uh, about being strong fearless brave and true and it's called i love my daddy Cruising round Miami Just sucking on an otter pop And sipping on some brandy And then some motherfucker put his hand inside my panties Said he's got a time share condo And he wants to taste my candy I pushed his hand up off me And I said no thank you fatty I don't need your needle dick Now see I got my own daddy He's got a lot of diamonds And a big golden band When he's lucky he can fuck me Then I pass him to my friends <laughs> She loves her daddy. She does. She loves her daddy. Everyone should uh, love your daddy. It's woman month. Love your daddy. Love your daddy. You know, once upon a time, Sloth Cat loved music. Mm-hmm. That time has passed. <laughs> you know what game once that did it for you? That you time know, has passed. Maybe the, maybe the, the background music in the Sprorin video. You haven't like, heard any Sika songs yet. That's that'll, true. That'll reignite your love for music. Have you heard hi 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 z z z or hey hey hey? Either either of those? They all no. are basically the same. They're but with different words. Different. <laughs> I guess that's every song, right? 
every song. Every song has different words in it for the most part. <laughs> it's like the other song, but with different words of music. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go. This is called The Bank. And this is the most hated scene ever on uh, that Braun did. Okay. okay, you have the two motor vehicles in the state. I only have uh, info on the property here. Old property. Yes, Mr. the case. It is historic. Yes. I thought the same guy. He has a mustache. the fucking hills, Mr. Parker. I wouldn't say that. What? When it's almost a century, it's fucking old. I feel like they're gonna I fuck each other. <laughs> Good money, I have to say. Some ain't worth a damn for me to approve. I inspect houses thoroughly. I'm gonna play around. I get right in the fucking nitty gritty bit, let me tell you. But I inspect, I inspect every freaking crevice. He's got to do invest in some lapel mics. <laughs> Let's get this all straight, Mr. Buck. You want a loan for that amount for this old property? Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you have an easy to inspect the property, Mr. Keys. What the fuck are you laughing at? Is this supposed to be a comedy or? No. I have no clue. Look at transition. That's me. PowerPoint <laughs> transition. Okay. We're fucking done. Next. We're calling next while I'm still sitting here. What the fuck's up with that? We're done. I'm busy. Get the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> the Who the fuck is that? Asshole. Yeah, right. <laughs> See you tomorrow, motherfucker. Okay. Is this yes, front of I, I thought that was security at first. Uh, the property on Rosewood. Exquisite piece. I do agree. And I would like to rectify matters as soon as possible, if you don't mind. Okay. I'll get on it. And um Get back to you as soon as possible. I wouldn't need to check. How soon will it be completed? When I say. What do you mean? Just what I said. I didn't fucking stun it. <laughs> Congrats with the property. You look happy about it. Next! You said your mother lives there? Yeah. Take your glasses in off, you're indoors. In Mr. Laser, you stipulated that your freaking brother also lives there. That's right. That's oh, it? Yeah. I mean, that's all who lives there? Are you coming with pets? Depends on what kinds of pets. A dog and a cat. A dog and cat could depreciate and fuck up the property a little bit. <laughs> a dog Imagine paying $4 for the dog. <laughs> <ever bought. laughs> That's good to know. You know, Mr. Lace, some people uh, have acted sort of fucked up during meetings like this. Like they have some kind of power. Like they could come in here and take advantage. But they're just fucking fooling themselves. What the oh, fuck? I don't think you could come <laughs> here and get over on me like a fat fucking rat. It's not gonna happen. No fucking way. Not now. Not ever. Next! That's it. 
this is going to be Why is the music still going? Because it was just oh black screen God. for 10 seconds. I just don't know what he thinks he's doing. Like, like he writes that, and what is going through his mind? Like, he thought that was good. He's making art. And it, it made no sense. Like, it makes sense to him. I want to know what it's like from his perspective. The man's making... I don't get it. I don't get it at all. All right. Well, you know what you don't have to get is... Uh, is it's Woman Month tomorrow? We're going to be joined by Honest, uh, who actually did a Step Up Woman Month commercial with us last month. So we'd be oh, wow. we bring it last year, yeah. So we'll have Honest with us tomorrow night. Uh, but for tonight, I want to close out. We will close out with something just for the ladies because it is Woman Month, and that's Broren when he was sexy. Um, oh, nice. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. They called him mm-hmm. Roaring. What they didn't know. <laughs> so, like, that's, like, that's, how open, that's how we open the Dateline episode or the Netflix special. About this. <laughs> I never know what he like going for. Like, is that supposed to be a sexy song? But then it turns yeah. kind of like a horror yeah, it's, thing it's called, when he get called, all I'm up a, in there. I'm a rocket world baby. That's all about how he let him. And that was the, the, that was the same song from the, was that the same song from the bank scene video? It sounded like the same beat. Oh, I mean, oh. how can you tell? It just sounds like a. I don't like a that. I don't play of... that. This is elevator music. But like three elevator musics on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> Fuck all of you, you motherfuckers. Good day, you fucking assholes. But that was interesting. Are you through with this nonsense now? <laughs> Yo, a greeting. Yo, Curb, what's up? Clutch the pearls, said in amazement or disbelief. Well, you know he's married. (gasps) Clutch the pearls! Fucked. In the 80s, it was just wasted. I don't know how many I had, but boy, did I get bucked. I sure felt it the next morning. That was really the worst thing I'd ever done. I hope you didn't drive home. No way. MacGyver, as in the TV show where the impossible is often accomplished. I can't believe you got off that speeding ticket. What a MacGyver. Norville, to secretly undermine. What? I can't believe you saw your job. You've really been Norville. Black and Decker, or a real tough assignment. You get the analogy, right? This job is a real grind. It's just a Black and Decker. Some phrases may be around forever. Well, look, I gotta run. Peace. Bye, Tom. X been trying to flex some. It says it in my name that I'm next up. Got a lot of perks, but I don't got a plug. Your girlfriend says that I'm a lot of fun. I like to hang out with a lot of G's. Shout out to Lil Big Young OG. And shout out to the money and all the women that say that they love me. I was gonna rap fast to prove that I don't rap bad. But no matter what, they still gonna be mad. So I'm just gonna be how I am. Psych. I'm a lyrical, spiritual, my rhymes are purical They fear me though cause they ain't never seen me before Now that I'm not rapping slow, will you accept that I'm the GOAT And I gotta kill the flow, all the hate just let it go Yeah, they're like sex is the best If you say otherwise, you gon' regret it Ha! And screw you, Jago, you suck I'ma steal your girl any day <laughs>